What's up, guys? Robux Talk back with another film study. Today's going to be KJ Britt, Buccaneers' fifth round pick out of Auburn, linebacker. Jason Light has a good, uh, I guess, track record with linebackers, especially the guys from the SEC. Think of Devin White. Think of Kendall Beckwith. And speaking of Kendall Beckwith, that's who I comp him to. I mean, if you look at his college stats, KJ Britt, this is him. He had 68 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, three and a half sacks that junior year. Look at the late great Kendall Beckwith, one awesome season with the Buccaneers, but look at that same similar numbers. 84 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, three and a half sacks. So overall, what do you see KJ Britt as? I mean, what you're going to hear is downhill and thumper, but what do you see in him? Yeah, I agree. I think it's, uh, you know, very similar game to, you know, even Kevin Minter, who's on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers right now. Uh, he's going to be that core special teams guy. He's going to be a a guy that can, you know, come in and help against the run. Uh, pass, pass coverage needs some work, but he's definitely a guy that can go downhill and make plays, as you're going to see here in the tape. Really just nice run fit, get in the traffic, and, and make the tackle. Yeah, he's not shy. Let's put it that way. He's, he has no issues getting in the down and dirty against these centers, guards, pulling guards. It doesn't matter. He's just going to get through you. He's going to overpower you, and he's going to want to win. And he lo- knows how to win at the line of scrimmage, put it that way. And when he hits you, it is a heavy hit. I mean, boom, right there. What do you see here? Right. Again, very physical linebacker. Again, he understands uh, gap integrity. He understands how to read it right. As you see there, makes the right uh, path and just comes downhill. And he's going to hit you with all his force. Uh, he likes to get through you. Um, he doesn't believe in, you know, just making the tackle. He's going to make an impact tackle. Yeah, and, I mean, a lot of it, People down his speed because he had a four seven five time forty, but I mean, it's more that initial burst when he's gonna run through you, like you just mentioned, that you really like. And he's a heady player. I mean, he may only be downhill that you see in these videos, but same with Kendall Beckwith. When he came out of college, he didn't really have the best, I guess, drop back coverage. And then all of a sudden, Jason Light saw something in him, and that one year he played with the Bucks, he just dominated. So again, more downhill stuff. Read the play, react. And that's when he's quick. After he reacts to the play, gets downhill, boom, and forces Will. What do you see? Agreed. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely a, a heady player, like you said, and he he understands how to, you know, make up ground quickly. I think he is fast enough. Um, you know, unfortunately, he didn't time well, but I think he's got a good enough speed. And here, again, this is really nice, just getting down sideline. Look at the uh, bend into the guard. You know, he's going to hold up the offensive lineman here and still make the tackle. Again, good balance there to fight through and, and still finish the play so it's got a lot of traits you like from a run coverage and run defense standpoint um, and definitely shows that he could be a very good special teams player because of his tackling something I really like this play for is you see Levante David do this a lot I mean this is almost sacrificing yourself so the rest of the team can make the play but not only did he sacrifice himself right here taking on the guard he also puts his foot in the ground and gets up field and gets the tackle. I mean, that's that's nasty right there, and he gets up and celebrates. But, I mean, overall, he plays within the unit of the defense. It's not just himself running out of the play. I mean, sometimes if you have too much speed, you can run yourself out of a play. He's just diagnosing and then accelerates through once he reads the play. So I really like that. Again, taking on guards, getting in on the tackle, aggressive. Something he's going to have to do, yeah, especially in special teams running downfield. What do you see here? Yeah, being physical, uh, like you said, just being physical at the point of attack, being able to take on blockers, shed blocks, you know, make sure he's still in the right position and then finish the play. Um, So a lot of good things to like. Again, Auburn didn't really ask him to do much as far as in terms of coverage because they knew what type of player he was. They knew, you know, they like to have him going downhill, whether it's blitzing or, you know, just coming down, uh, the line of scrimmage, as you see here, coming from the other side, he's going to mm. hit you like right there. That's a that's an impact hit. Make sure you're on the ground. You're done. so very nice from uh, KJ. It's this is a big hit. I mean, yeah, the guy's about to go down. He's like, no, you're going down faster because I want you down and into the ground. It's really nice. I like that. Finishing the play, you're you're the enforcer, and then you really like this. He's seeing the plays, reading the plays, telling the whole defense where it's going to go going this way get the hell over and what does he know yep it's going that way read get into your hole playing within the system right break it down a little bit more 
Yeah, exactly. It it's uh, just understanding play concepts. It shows that he does do his work in the film room. He understands looks and formations. So obviously, he's seen this formation before earlier in the game. Makes adjustment, and it's a big stop. I believe that was a fourth down situation. So, uh, very uh, good heads up play by KJ, and it just shows he can be that type of leader on defense if if need be. And what I also like is he's hitting his gap, and this is his manned gap. If he wanted to be Superman. He's like, oh, I know it's going to go to that side, so I'm just going to run over there myself. And then this gives a running back a cutback lane, which he doesn't. He's playing within a defensive scheme of 11 players working as one, something we talk about a lot, and you got to do it. I mean, this is a team game. This isn't just one guy being Mr. Superman, which we had in the past, but now it's team game, guys. Now, again, can he cut back, change direction, get downfield? Has he got that in him plus? Absolutely, yeah. He can, I mean, as you see here, he's rushing off the edge. So they used him in, in different alignments and, you know, he's rushing in, sees the quick pass and then able to turn back quickly and, and get in on the action as far as the screen game. So, yeah, I, I like his ability and again, just needs some development as far as, you know, pass coverage and, and stuff of that nature. But maybe he can do it. We just didn't see it at Auburn because it's something they didn't ask him to do. Very true. I mean, it's the college level. This is just the beginning of what he's learning to do eventually, how to use his his body and what, where he's supposed to be in a, inside of a defense. But again, I mean, this is heady. Like he's looking at the quarterback. Oop, he's going to beat him to the spot on the outside. And he's wondering, should I cut this inside or should I cut this outside and force Herbert actually inside? So, it, yeah, makes the decision, forces the decision on the quarterback, errant throw, throw it out of bounds. And a lot of good heady moves. And here, yeah, we're used to seeing Devin White fly in. It's just not the same type of speed. It doesn't matter. I mean, if, if he's a spe special teams guy, he's a fifth rounder for a reason. I mean, maybe Jason Light found something again where there's a little bit of a trait or some little similarities that were Kendall Beckwith or Colin Alexander. Hell, Devin White. Maybe he has he sees something in him where he can potentially become something down the road. What do you think? Yeah, I'm right there with you. I, I you know, you look at this again. He shows the ability to blitz downhill, and and that's what the Bucks ask their linebackers to do quite often. So, again, it's a good fit from a scheme perspective. Uh, again, a lot of this he's going to be utilized on special teams. That's going to be, you know, his main job, and it shows that running downhill. That's something he does very well. So, he should be one of our better special teams players if he is on the team. No doubt. And then now one time where he's dropping back in coverage, we kind of saw. What does he do? He doesn't get oversell. He doesn't try and make a play where it's not there. He's reading, reacting, and the quarterback starts to run. He's just containing, doesn't get juked out, makes a tackle. What do you like with that? Yeah, you said it best. Uh, again, just doing, doing his job, dropping back into coverage, making sure he has that, that deep middle zone. Uh, he reads that, you know, Justin Hubert is going to, you know, scramble here, does a great job of just breaking it down, making sure he makes a, a solid tackle and open field. So, again, it shows to – you know, he can be a very good special teams player. Uh, but guys, that's KJ Britt, our fifth round pick. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And be sure to give, you, give us your uh, feedback on KJ Britt and what you think of him. With that said, until the next one.